The following tape diagram describes the relationship between the amount of red paint and the amount of blue paint needed in order to make plummy purple paint mix. So they show us here that for every four parts red, you need three parts blue. Or you could say that the ratio of red to blue is four to three, or that the ratio of blue to red is three to four. Now they ask us, suppose, or they tell us, suppose the x-axis represents the number of red paint cans and the y-axis represents the number of blue paint cans. Let's scroll down a little bit. So the x-axis is the number of red, the y-axis is the number of blue. First, find two sets of corresponding values of x and y and graph them. Then determine whether the relationship is proportional. So we know if we have four parts red, we need three parts blue. So let me graph that. So if we have four parts, so if we have four parts red, that's that axis, we're gonna have three parts blue. And what if we had eight parts red? If we had eight parts red, well that's two groups of four, then we're gonna need two groups of three for the blue. Once again, the ratio of blue to red is always three to four. Here, literally, you have three blues and four reds, so you have a three to four ratio. Here you have six parts blue, eight parts red. The ratio of six to eight is the same as three to four. Now the question is, is this proportional? So you have a proportional rate relationship if the ratio between these two variables is always the same. And we already said the ratio between them is always the same. The ratio of blue to red is always going to be three to four. Another sign that this is a proportional relationship is that it's a line, and not only is it a line, but it, it's a line that goes through the origin. And that makes sense. If I have zero red, well, if I, I'm gonna have three-fourths of that blue, well, three-fourths times zero is still going to be zero. So this is a proportional relationship. We could check our answer, yes it is. And let me explain that last point in a little bit more detail. So as we said, the ratio the ratio, and I'm gonna do this in the right colors, of blue to, of blue to, I don't have a, a exact red, I'll do this orange, that's close enough. The ratio of blue to red is always going to be equal to three to four. And so if you multiply both sides by the number of red, you could say that the no amount you have in blue is always going to be three fourths the amount that you have in red, three fourths the amount that you have in red. And you, this, you can also verify this. When R is four, if you have a four here, three fourths of four is three. Blue is three. And so if R is a zero, if this is really proportional, then this is also going to be, this is also going to be zero. A proportional relationship will always go through the origin. If you don't go through the origin, it's not a proportional relationship. If it's not linear, it's not a proportional relationship.